So one of the more compelling evidences for the creation model is found in the Cambrian sedimentary layers, dated by evolutionists to have formed 500 to 540 million years ago. The Cambrian explosion refers to the sudden appearance in the fossil record of complex animals. Almost all the major groups of sea life, including fish and the most complex invertebrates, the nautiloids, suddenly appeared in a most un-Darwinian manner. For centuries, secular scientists, including Darwin himself, attempted to answer the question as to the origin of animals. It hasn't gotten easier with time and research. Understanding how and when animals evolved has proven very difficult for paleontologists. The Cambrian explosion offers no help, since animals appeared suddenly, complete and fully formed, supposedly over a half billion years ago. The presumed ancestors of these sophisticated creatures aren't found in the earlier layers of sedimentary rocks. The secular mystery deepens because the biological information required to produce these complex creatures would also have to arise naturalistically. In other words, the information to make Cambrian animals had to come from pre-existing hawks and other regulatory genes. Hawks genes are a group of related genes involved in development of the basic body plan, whether vertebrate or invertebrate. Recently, Chinese paleontologists have unearthed rare Cambrian soft tissue fossils on a bank of the Dan Shui River in China's Hubei province. Their discovery includes sponges, branched alga, box jellies and jellyfish. The researchers are calling it the Queen Jiang Bioda allegedly 10 million years older than the 500 million year old Burgess shell of Canada. None of these creatures are simple of course, for example an abundance of animals called cnidarians, a subphylum of the well-known salenterates that include corals and sea anemones, have been found. Cnidarians have always been cnidarians, extending back more than 700 million years according to the evolutionists using molecular clock analysis of mitochondrial genes. The article stated there were two very different fossil deposits, the Qing Jiang and the Qing Jiang Biodas, that are the same age but have just an 8% overlap in their taxa. Since creationists maintain these sediments were both laid down during the flood, the differing biodas are interpreted as living in the pre-flood world at different eco-sedimentary zones, but at the same time. They were buried in rapid succession about 4,500 years ago. To conclude, if the Bible is true concerning a worldwide flood, then ocean bottom dwelling creatures would be the first to be buried in billions of tons of sediments all over the world. And that's exactly what scientists are finding. This fascinating news of soft body taxa, the Qing Jiang and the Cheng Jiang biota of China is more evidence of sudden creation of complex life followed by death on a massive scale, known as the global flood of Noah. Thanks for watching everyone and may you all have a blessed day.